Every curious mind has lots of unanswered questions about our universe and celestial bodies. So, let's begin the question answer session. Uh, sir, what is a galaxy and what are galaxy clusters? A galaxy is essentially a collection of stars and gas which is self gravitating. Self gravitating is something which can hold its structure by itself. Just like we are not self gravitating, we hold our structure because of electrostatic forces. A star is self gravitating, it holds itself because of its gravity, right? So, a galaxy is a larger scale of self gravitating structure which is held together by two opposing forces, gravity pulling it inside and velocity is pushing it outwards, right? So, I so, galaxy is just a collection of stars and gas which is self-gravitating. Cluster of galaxies is a, is a bunch of galaxies which are self-gravitating, right? So, that's, that's the way I would put it. I also read in uh, last week's newspaper that uh, some of the ICER students were a part of the discovery of a new galaxy cluster named Saraswati. So, uh, can you tell me more about this discovery? So, Saraswati is not just a galaxy cluster, it's actually, uh, it's, it's the, the term used in astronomy, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a large scale structure, which consists not just of galaxies, not just of clusters of galaxies, but it consists of clusters of clusters of galaxies, right? It's a long string of, and uh, it's believed that this structure was formed, so, so you can think of the beginning of the universe as material was uniformly distributed in the time. Uh, when you have, the thing with gravity is it has only attraction, there is no repulsion. Unlike electrostatics, charges, electrical charges which can repel also, gravity can only attract. So what would happen is if you have this uniform gas everywhere in the universe, even if you give it a slight perturbation you will create a region of slightly higher density, slightly lower density. The moment you create a slightly higher density, more things will start falling into it, right? So, denser regions will start getting more and more dense and uh, uh, rarer regions will start getting uh, less and less dense, right? So, it is believed that simulations, computer simulations tell you what kind of structures should form in the universe. If you apply Einstein and Newtonian uh, equations, it will tell you what should be the kind of structures which should form. And one of the structures that you expect to see is these walls surrounding these big empty cavities. And the Saraswati is one such wall where there is a high collection of galaxies and clusters of galaxies and that is what has been uh, detected. Yeah. You know the observational challenge, you know, if you look at the images, you know, which are published in the newspapers. You might, you might be forgiven for thinking, but why is this called, I mean, it looks all, you know, it, it, it looks pretty isotropic. How can I say that this forms one structure and the other stuff doesn't? It's the same question with constellations. Why are some constellations a random collection of stars, others actually clusters of stars? And what is the answer to that? You need to prove that what looks like a two-dimensional collection is actually a group in three dimensions. That's the real challenge. Because you can have two stars very far from each other and look very so close to each other in projection. So the big challenge is to prove that how to extract a three-dimensional structure out of two-dimensional observations. Yeah. I had read in the newspaper that with the discovery of uh, Saraswati galaxy, scientists could study about the how was the universe in the past. Well, I didn't get how. Uh, no, not the galaxy. Saraswati large-scale yes, structure. Yes. yes. So Saraswati is far away from us and light travels at a fixed speed. So, it will take some finite amount of time for light from there to reach us. It is that time delay where we say that we are, you know, looking into the earlier stages of the universe. If, if, it, take, if it takes something a million years to come from that object to us, we are looking at that object a million years in our past. So, we can look into uh, the Saraswati structure and say, okay, you know, it is it is so many billion years old uh, and you know so we are looking at the universe when it was this much younger than where we are today so that it's it's one way to you know look into the uh, evolution of the universe